You know, there are hundreds of coffee shops around the triad, but the one we're going to introduce you to now is like no other. It's coffee that's served with a helping of love. I spoke to the general manager of 33 in Elm, Richard Oliver, about the coffee shop run by Industries of the Blind and how it does more, and it's more about really what it does than what it serves. So Richard, when I first heard about this, I thought, this is about the coolest thing ever. Talk about empowering people. Let's talk a little bit about the backstory first. How did you come up with this idea? What was the origin of all this? So we had this space that we had sort of renovated in our building. And then we were looking at, we, we see a lot of folks here who are using food delivery services. So you for paying all those fees and getting food that may not always be the healthiest of foods and paying higher prices. We thought, how could we better serve folks, our associates in our building, and offer them, you know, offer them coffee, food that's, you know, made fresh and delivered to us uh, by a couple of companies that we use for sandwiches and pastries, and then make coffee and teas and offer sodas to our folks so that they don't have to try to either order or walk to any kind of restaurants to get food. So tell me about what you're noticing with the staff. I, I'm sure this is a, a good bit empowering for them. Yeah, well, so it's a brand new sort of opportunity for us. So it provides new growth potential for the staff, for our baristas, all right? It's something that we've never done before. So we are training them, training ourselves on making coffee drinks. and. It really has become just empowering for them. They've really taken it on. It is their coffee shop. Uh, they are, those folks are running it like it's their business. This is great stuff you're doing, man. Congratulations. We can't wait to get our cup of joe there. It is a great thing. I mean, I've done stories with them before on other things they've done. They're just a great organization, mm -hmm. making people feel empowered. And uh, the people that work there, like he said, they feel like they're, uh -huh. they're vested. You know, it's like they're, it's their coffee shop and they've never done this before. So they're all learning as they go. They will have an official launch in another week or so and maybe a few days. They haven't decided on that actual day, but they are technically open for business now. This is really cool. I would love to like, maybe if we went inside the business and like followed one of those workers from oh, yeah. start to finish or see that training process. I think this is such a cool concept, but like you said, it's empowering people and giving people a, a sense of purpose. But I would really love to see, you know, how their day is working there. Very cool. And I'm not much of a coffee guy myself, but uh, I, I might have to make an, a bit of an exception just to go out there <laughs> and see what else, you know, might not get a drink, see if they got some pastries or something. They but do. if so, <laughs> hey, I'm willing to try anything just because <laughs> to support this great cause.